everybody. Jackie Ludledge here with uh, CSM Live. Today we are going to be uh, creating with some Kelly Creates stamps. Yahoo! I'm so excited for Kelly. She has a whole line of these. Um, they feature her calligraphy. I love it. Her hand lettering. Hand lettering. And we're going to be working with Ranger Distress Crayons to create. Oh, just a second. I'm going to see if I can see who's come on there. I always forget to swipe left to see who's come on so I can say hi. Ah, back. We're going to be creating um, this funky resist background. You can do it in all different kinds of uh, degrees of shading. So let's get right to it. So as you can see, we're going to be, like I said, we're going to be creating this uh, great resist background. Uh, and it's super duper easy and it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of different variations and we started with some creative scrapbooker super stock. It's a very heavy super stock, 120 pounds, so it can take a lot of love and ink, um, a lot of manipulation on it. We're going to prime it with some uh, gesso from Ranger. Priming it means that uh, we can swipe it off later and the with some water and we uh, things like that so that it doesn't absorb into the paper itself, the ink and the distressed crayons and the water that we're gonna be adding. So I've primed it with gesso, that easy. There we go, I'll just put that over there. I'm going to set it aside, and of course I have a dry one. Sorry, and I'll give this a wipe. This is a Ranger uh, non-stick mat. It's fabuloso. Everybody needs one. So here I have a nice dry one. I'm going to grab my Distress Crayons, which are so fun to use, and they come in a, um, two sets of different colors. I hope they decide to come out with some more different colors. And I'm basically just going to go onto the dry tag. And I'm just going to make that easy. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> Not yet. I'm just going to go on there and add some color. OK. This just slides on like wax crayons and I actually like the okay then I'm going to take my handy dandy finger I'm gonna wet it a tiny bit just a tiny bit and I'm going to spread this around and while I'm spreading it I'm going to be careful that I don't over uh, like I don't want the colors to blend too much to be one big color I hope you know what I mean by that. Like I don't want the whole thing to turn out to be the same color. So I want different shades. I'm gonna dry my finger a bit. So there we go. We're just blending, blending. Oh, I didn't took too much of the water off. Blending. And then you see I took off too much red, so I'm gonna add a bit more red. Really you can't. You can't go wrong with this. I want to add a little bit more yellow. Rub it in. So you're thinking, what the heck are you doing? That's well, you could, you know what? You could leave it like this if you wanted. That's also a funky background. We're gonna take it to the next step. You have to let this dry. Okay, so do not try to do what I'm gonna do next on a wet tag I did and believe me it didn't turn out that nice because all of the embossy powder stuck to it so I'm gonna grab a dry one right there and here is my Kelly creates stamp and like I said I'm so proud of Kelly she's got such beautiful um, handwriting and she's turned them into very nice stamps I'm gonna grab my embossing bath and yes that's a lot of clear embossing powder I actually buy it in bulk and then I pour it into this bath and I have it forever um, so I'm going to ink up my stamp nice and gooey with an embossing ink or a Versamark 
and put it right over top. Okay, and put the embossing. And I'm going to do it in sections like this. enough ink on this side. Alright. Okay. Keep going. I want to do the whole thing here for you to see, even though it takes a, t a little bit of time. Um, so that you can see when I swipe it off, when the wow factor works here. That's so much fun. And one more. I think I'll go, well, I'll go like this. Okay, and then actually, I'm going to swipe this off, and I'm going to go and do a bit more detail here. I'm going to do one here, and the end of this here. All right, okay, move that all aside. Turn on the embossing heat gun, your heat gun, and watch this. Okay, this one didn't turn out very good, but that's okay because it's a background. We're going to melt that embossing powder. You can see it disappearing. Or it's actually not disappearing, it's just melting. So everything underneath of that is going, all the color that's underneath there is going to stay. Then we'll let that dry. It doesn't take long for it to dry at all. And that's the beauty of this heavy cardstock. It doesn't warp. Okay, so we've got it dry. Now I'm going to take a wet one. And this is the fun part. And this is when you can take off as much as you want and you can add some later if it gets. I really took a lot off of this one. But watch this. This is the fun. Look at what's happening. Oh, this is why I love scrapbooking. I love to be wowed. So you see, you could keep taking it. You, you decide the level that you want it to be taken off at. And look at that great background that we've created using our Kelly Create stamps and our Ranger uh, Distress crayons. Those are ready to make a tag, and I can definitely see it in a, a large. Uh, a layout. So I'm excited to try that on there. I hope you guys like that. Ranger Distress Crayons. I'm going to swipe left here again to see. Okay, so Ranger Distress Crayons. Kelly Create Stamps. Hey, hi! Glad to join. I'm so glad you all joined us today. So back, back to this. I got squirreled there. So uh, Kelly Create Stamps. Ranger Distress Crayons, a beautiful resist background that is so fun, so easy to use. Thank you so much, everybody. I'm not sure why I can't see all of your comments. I just see the odd persons, but you know what? Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, you can ask them below, and I will get to them right away. Um, happy scrapbooking. Thanks for watching. Stay out of trouble, and I will see you back here next Wednesday for some more fun tips and tricks for this fabulous hobby we call scrapbooking. Have a wonderful day, everybody.